This is video number 22 uh, from digital-university.org. In this video, we just want to consider some very simple uh, source conversion techniques. So let's just say that we had a simple circuit like this, where here we have a voltage source, and in series with it is this resistor. Now, this resistor could just be the internal resistance of our voltage source. Any internal resistances are always in series with the source. And then here we have a, it's called a load resistor. We want to know in this simple circuit what's the current that flows across this resistor here. And obviously that's going to be the current IL will equal the voltage divided by the total resistance in the simple series circuit. So we have R1 plus RL. Now, let's multiply this equation by 1, specifically by R1 divided by R1. And E divided by R1, the voltage divided by a resistance, let's just call that I for the moment. So I equals E divided by R1. Then we have that I out equals this divided by R1 plus R L. times I. But now look at this expression. We've seen this before. When you have Two, C, uh, two resistors that are in parallel. Like this. And there's a current going into this parallel arrangement of resistors. And the amount of current that goes through this resistor is equal to the value of, oops, let's put some room here. What we're saying is the amount of current now in this circuit where we have these two resistors in parallel supplied by a current source I. that the current that flows through resistor L is equal to the value of this resistor divided by the sum. This is the voltage current principle that we briefly talked about in video number two. Well, that means then that we can get them both in focus at the same time. See, this circuit and this circuit are the same. We're here because we have the current that flows through resistor L is equal to this, where what we said before is that the current that flows through resistor L is equal to this times the amount of current going into the circuit. And that is exactly what we derive from this circuit. When here we start off with this expression, and all we did is multiply R1, R1 over R1, and then we said, let's call this I. Let's designate this as current I. And we got this expression as the amount of current 
that flows through this resistor, which is exactly the same with this arrangement. So what this means is, let's just redraw the circuit up on top. Here we have the resistors R1, RL, and parallel. With the current source. These two circuits then are equivalent in that the amount of current that flows through this load resistor is the same in each one, provided that this value of I is equal to this voltage divided by R1. Or, that would mean that this circuit can be converted into this circuit by multiplying I times R1. So, as far as determining the amount of current that flows through this resistor, and this circuit, and this circuit, it's the same amount in each case. So looking at it from that point of view, this circuit right here is equivalent to this circuit, provided that the amount of current being provided to these two parallel resistors is equal to this voltage divided by this resistance. So if that means then that if we have a circuit with a current source like this, it may be, it would be easier to analyze the circuit by considering this as a voltage source like this, then we can go ahead and make that conversion, provided now that the amount of voltage here is equal to that current times that resistor in parallel with it. And again, we bring it to your attention now because in some of the future videos, we're going to be using the technique. And again, the idea behind it is pretty straightforward. We just start off with a simple series circuit, and we're asking ourselves, what's the current that goes through this resistor? And it's just simply the voltage divided by the total resistance. Now we multiply this by 1, and then... E divided by R1, we designate that as I, and we get this expression as the amount of current that flows through resistor L, and that is identical to this type of circuit, where here the amount of current that flows through this resistor is equal to the value of this resistance divided by the sum of these, times the amount of current that's being applied to those two parallel resistors. So these are the same provided that the current that we have designated here is equal to this voltage divided by this resistance. So if we're putting a resistor across here, the resistor can't tell, so to speak, whether it's being inserted into this type of circuit or into this type of circuit because in each case the amount of current going through it is going to be the same. So that's a pretty basic concept but we're going to be using it in future videos so we just wanted to bring it to your attention now and oh there's one other thing that we can do though with this type of uh, scenario. Let's say that we have Make some room down here. Suppose that our initial circuit had another resistor in it. So it was like this. 
But sometimes you'll come across this kind of situation in future videos. We have this kind of a circuit. And again, this might be a specific resistor put in series of our voltage source, or this just might be the internal resistance of our voltage source. Okay, well now the current that flows through this, called resistor L, that will be equal to that the total resistance or the voltage divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2 plus RL like this and now if we modify this by 1 specifically R1 plus R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is divided by itself as 1 and then E divided by R we call that I, this not make that as I Voltage divided by R1 plus R2 designate that as I, and we have IL will equal R1 plus R2. Try to put in the better focus. R1 plus R2, that's this, divided by this, R1 plus R2 plus RL, multiplied by I. Now, that means then that this current will be equivalent to, or this circuit will be equivalent to this circuit. This is RL, and now this is R1 plus R2. And now these two circuits are equivalent, where this parallel resistor is the sum of these two, and the amount of current that we're putting into these two parallel resistors, that is equal to this voltage divided by the sum of these two resistors, as we designated up here. And again, sometimes we'll encounter this, um, this type of circuitry in future videos, so we'll deal with it right now and get it out of the way. So, the, as far as the amount of current that flows through resistor RL, if we had a resistor and we plugged it into this circuit, or we took the same resistor and plugged it into this circuit, the amount of current going through it would be the same um, in, each, in each case. So, this circuit and this circuit also are equivalent. And again, sometimes it's convenient when you have this type of arrangement to convert it into a current source, or you might have this type of arrangement and it's more convenient to analyze your circuit when you first convert this into a voltage source type circuit. Okay, that's all we're going to say about it in this video. 
grant your attention now because we will use this um, source conversion technique uh, in future videos. So come back and join us for those videos and let's see if we can solve some of the problems.